everybody. I am so happy to tell you that yes, we have finally got on board the Royal Caribbean Alloy of the Seas. And as I told you before, I've actually got the Grand Suite. It came along with a lot of extras. It's a luxury suite, a complimentary fruit plate, luxury spa robes, toiletries, fancy toiletries, in-room coffee maker, in-room tea kettle, exclusive pillow, complimentary pressing, complimentary luggage, invitation to exclusive captain's work on a board, um, board games if I want, personalized port and shopping, limited exclusive pool deck seating for sweet guests, um, a sea pass holders only, uh, priority departure, and limited reserve seats for shows and it goes on and on and on and on and I tell you this is what I was I've been waiting for and like I said I'll just um let my vlog go ahead and as you know this is vlog number four and I hope you enjoy I'm on board now and you can see I'm, I'm getting ready to enjoy my cruise the cruise of a lifetime I in the sky class Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas <laughs> I'm here, I've managed to reach the law of the seas at last. I have, um, I'm in my stateroom now, very nice. Um, we'll have a walk around the stateroom, we'll show you what's in the stateroom. Um, getting here, we got off on the taxi. Um, we, we've got a suite, we've got a grand suite, so we follow the suite sign and um, it was okay, it was quite fast. We managed to get on this boat within 10, 10 minutes at the most. Um, despite all the things I say about Grand Suite, uh, you have people meeting you, you don't, you actually just get on uh, the same way as everybody else, you get through a bit faster, and then you're left alone to think, what do you do next? Um, we then knew that the most important thing was to get up to the um, 17th floor, where we can actually have some um, some lunch, uh, like an invitation lunch, and we sat down. We did have some nice lunch there, that was fine. And then we were stuck again because we ain't had no keys or anything, not realizing that the key is gonna be outside our door. Uh, eventually going down a few floors, um, back to floor five, and speaking with somebody there to tell us we have to go back, to, back up to um, the 17th floor. Um, it's not too clear. It, it, it um, basically doesn't seem like there's enough information for um, anybody with a grand suite or with any suites exactly what is to be done. Um, we just expected a bit more attention than what we actually got when we came in. Um, we eventually found a uh, concierge and she did say, uh, the concierge services, and she did say, oh, we've got 200 suites to actually look on. Um, about what was it, 88, I think 80, 300 um, seats to, um, 300 yeah, 300 people, and about 80, 80 odd suites, I think, that she has to deal with. Um, so, no, they, they don't actually greet us. But um, basically, if they, we need them, we try and call them when we get to our rooms. And um, then that's it, really. It moves on from there. So, you're basically all alone. But she did give us a rundown as to what needed to be done uh, in regards to uh, what they have, uh, what privileges we've got, etc. Uh, basically, it's to keep in contact with them to be able to uh, go to um, get privileges on a certain circus, certain, certain uh, places that we do have um, where we want to select or where we want to be. Uh, basically keep in touch with them and then we know exactly what we want to want to do and um, yeah the only thing again is our luggage I was surprised again I expected the luggage to be in the rooms so it's a lot easier at least it's in your room it's not actually in your room it stays outside in the passageway you find them uh, we found out of the four suitcases we have we only found um, three so far so we've got to go look for the suitcases um, call the concierge um, like she said um, they're busy on phones at the moment. They say leave a message. We'll see what happens. So therefore, we're not settled as yet until the next suitcase arrives and whenever it arrives. Uh, we have to keep looking up and down the passage. It's approximately quarter to two now, um, this time. 
we've probably got another two hours, next, next two hours to sail. At the moment, I'm not feeling nothing on the boat. The boat is quite smooth. I'm not feeling a thing. It's just like, you know, um, when we went into the dining area, it was very nice on the 17th floor and you can see out. Um, you just feel like you, you've you just gone to a nice restaurant and you're looking over the sea, you know, it's very nice. So not even a, you're not, not even feeling anything at the moment. And um, yeah, I'm feeling all right. Um, we'll, we'll give you a little look around and um, show you what's going on. Um, as I said, from the boat to our room itself, which is one, two, two, five, four. Um, that's our grand suite room. Um, we're on the docks itself. And there's another port on the opposite side. Uh, looks like we're the only boat in at the moment, the only ship in, I must say, the Allo of the Seas. Um, it's a nice view, Fort Lauderdale, not too bad. This is our um, room, this is the balcony. Okay, this is the state room. Um, yeah, very nice, very clean. Um, nice bed with the the nice dressing table. Um, we actually have an invitation straight away to a cocktail, and that's going to take place tomorrow. So, which is very nice. At least we know in advance um, not to book anything and make sure we reach the cocktail party. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got a settee which will be opening tonight for. Uh, there's three of us, so one of us will have to, which my son will have to go in there tonight. That's, that's his bed. It's going to be a chair, so I don't know when we're ready to put it out, but we will do put it out um, for him to be used. Um, nice kitchen. Um, what I've seen here as well, which is kind of strange, they say they have a mini bar, but um, the mini bar uh, has not, there's nothing in there yet. It looks like you have to actually order it in advance, so you put in, which I expected that the mini bar itself will be actually. Um, there you know ready so unfortunately you have to fill out a form and then they come and they refill um i've got the main package i don't know if that's part of it so we'll have to make sure i'll probably tell you tomorrow is it a part of the of the deluxe package or not uh, the mini bar but we will find out eventually as we go along as we move on now we've got the bathroom the bathroom is very nice and and clean as well um like a hotel room basically it's got the um, two sinks and um, it has the what you call the amenities which is in um, the nice shampoo the nice um, uh, washing um, facilities that you might need etc so um, yeah and the coffee and the tea making services there as well and we've got some um, full up is I think they're called fill cups um, that you can actually um, 50 years old, but you can just keep filling them up and just keeping things warm. Um, keep you drink, keep your drinks in here. Just keep drinking, really. Help you um, have somewhere nice and surprise. It's made out of plastic. Probably a nice cup to keep after as well, really. Yep. Um, yeah, very nice room. And um, yeah, we look forward to seeing what's happening for the rest of the. Um, for the rest of the time here, um, we are on basically our traveling. This is on our, our third day, which is Sunday. And um, as far as I'm concerned so far, well, I am looking forward to it. I'm trying to get things together. But again, now you have to get all your, all your stuff put away, get it together. Um, I'm not hungry yet because we had a little meal, so all is good. So we have a little time put everything together that we need to put together and then start going around the um, getting used to the ship and decide what we're going to do later but um, I'm going to have a little rest myself for the time being and um, I'll speak to you soon again bye bye <laughs> Hi, glad that you enjoyed looking at my wonderful apartment that I'll be here for the next seven days and looking forward to the cruise. Uh, yes, as I said, I'll give you some information regarding a few things. Number one, your luggage does not actually, they're not actually in your room because the time period that they've got rushing around trying to get everybody's 
bags in the right locations you'll find them outside in the corridor on the way coming up actually and they're not there straight away either um, you normally have to keep going backwards and forwards to see if you see it I know one of the things that we're thinking of oh what's happened to our luggage and uh, that those are things that really tell truth not really have to worry about too much um, best thing to do is just carry on and then you know by the time you reach back later it'll be there anyway so you have no issues no no problems I think um, what's happened that they do get a lot of calls there's a lot of people it's over 5,000 people on board actually close to 6,000 people on board so you know they have a lot to do so you know really and truly do you really need it not really I know you, we all want to get our stuff together and, and, and get going but um, at the end of the day um, it wasn't no problem I only had one bag that was a bit later than the others but it gives us time to sort out all the rest and go out and get a drink and um, sit down um, have a, a meal or whatever you feel like doing have a walk around you know not to worry you're on holiday you're on vacation and yes that's what I've been that's what I've been doing um, while I was there uh, remember there is a lot of reading to do you'll find which you don't, they don't tell you uh, straight away but look for your cruise compass it's an, actually a newsletter and that gives you everything but one of the things as I said when I say I don't tell you when you see so much paperwork you just come on board you think I ain't going through all that right now so just look for it and it tells you for the day day one right down to day seven it tells you things what's going on what what day um, what you want to do in the day you're trending today uh, port and shopping, the cruise club, champagne, auctions, uh, oh, the list goes on, there is so much to do. If you're like me, all I wanted to do first is to sit around a bar, have a few drinks and have my meal and relax, you know, I'm on board and I've got seven days of this luxury, beautiful cruise. I'll tell you more, uh, my next vlog will be on Saturday again, I'm posting on Saturday again and please look out and that would be my vlog 5 and that would give a bit more detail i would have been on the boat for approximately two days then so i'll give you a lot more information i'll tell you what i've been doing i'll tell you what there is to do and i'll tell you how to enjoy yourself and i'm going to enjoy myself see you on my next vlog